all right so what's going on good morning uh how you doing all that good stuff so today i really had a whole video planned halfway edited and i decided to trash it and this is something i've been spending hours on throughout this week i just decided that it wasn't good enough it wasn't high enough quality um it wasn't something that i was proud to put up on my youtube channel so it is friday april 2nd i'm supposed to upload a video in two days and i'm starting from scratch so this is likely going to be a short video but overall it's going to be better than what i had i think i was trying to do way too much for the little gym edit i had and the quality of the content just wasn't there it wasn't something i wanted to put my name on and put on the internet so i'm gonna simplify things a little bit and uh just kind of go out go about throughout uh, just kind of go along throughout my day i'm gonna definitely take the camera to the gym film this chest and chest shoulder and tricep workout so without any further ado let's hop right into the video and i will see you guys in the next clip So I'm pulling out my parking lot and it just occurs to me that I haven't washed my car in like a smooth two weeks <laughs> and I need to go get some money from the bank. So next clip, probably be me going through a car wash, grabbing some cash. All right, then we'll be at the gym. Oh my god all right what's going on guys so we just pulled up to the gym and it's finally my day off so i feel like i can finally get like a relaxing workout in if that really means anything i don't gotta rush anywhere so i'm gonna take my pre take my pump got my boy ty with me he behind the camera i'm looking forward to this one because like i said i ain't gotta rush can get a nasty pump enjoy the day go on about the rest of my day so let's head up in here all right so with these cable flies basically what my coaches have me doing on here is just getting some like light blood flow just to kind of basically a warm-up for the rest of the workout the first thing we're going to jump into after this is going to be incline barbell bench but before that i'm gonna hit 315 what i want to do on my chest days is try to keep my body familiar with that 315 weight so when i am done with this cut and i gain my muscle back basically i'm trying to keep my body conditioned to where i can keep as much strength as possible and keep my bench up because just because i'm getting so lean i don't want to lose all the strength i've built up if that makes sense so I definitely take that. So incline bench is something that I really kind of neglected for probably the past year, year and a half at least. So I was really happy to see that my coaches put incline and a lot of it, a lot of volume on my plan. So uh, right now I'm focusing on really filling out the movement since I haven't done it so long. Um, I'm working with a set of 185. If this goes smooth, I'll jump it up to 205 and 
that, that might probably be as heavy as I go, but we'll just see how the sets feel. And one thing my coach has got me doing, which I love, is tracking my weight. So for somebody who's trying to focus on progressive overload and really trying to gain strength, track their strength, track their weights, that is a great method. For me, I'm likely not gonna gain any more strength between now and show day. I mean, I know I'm not with being in such an aggressive caloric deficit within these next uh, 10 weeks. But if you're trying to track your strength, if you're trying to make sure you're getting stronger, make sure you're gaining muscle, I would definitely recommend writing down every set you do for at least your compound movements each week. So it's very easy to see, okay, I hit this weight, I didn't hit this weight. It really just helps you set up some goals for yourself. So you hit this weight, and uh, yeah. Don't you ever come up out the cracks and try to tell me how to get it popping, really? Way too motherfucking educated to be spending any time just talking with me. Many people waking on me in the lobby, trying to board a bus and get it in. Hundred thousand dollar conversation with investors telling me they want it in. Lost the women from a runaway, always call me when they in a jam. Used to give them all the time of day, now they're scrolling through my Instagram. Wishing that they did accommodate. I ain't even feel they need a grin. Never been the type to hold a grudge. I don't even love them. We took pre and pump. Both have beta alanine in them. The shit that makes you itch. And I have not felt a single itch this entire workout. I'm really confused what's happening. Only thing I feel is my heart pounding fast as hell. But like, no type of itch. So I should probably lay off that pre for like at least a week. I don't know if I'm gonna do that, but <laughs> I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to stick with the cough for a little bit. So at this point we kind of done the entire my entire planned workout with what my coaches got me on so now we're just doing extra shit because i feel like i could definitely go we both feel like we could definitely go harder on chest so so i'm gonna squeeze out maybe like three sets of ten of this and then superset that with push-ups probably call it a workout after that We're gonna end this little upper body, or shit. We're gonna end this chest and shoulder workout with a little burnout on the push ups. Like, this superset is silly, for real. So, uh, oh, God. Take my ass home, bro. <laughs> We've been in this bitch too long. I'm cool off abs. I do abs every day. I need to get the fuck out of here. All right, so me and Ty just pulled up to Kroger, and I'm helping him get a couple shit, more than a couple. I'm helping him get like a week's worth of meals. Basically, he wants to stay relatively lean while adding some quality muscle. So. I'm basically gonna set him up with some meals that I would be getting if I was on a lean bulk. And I get like a fair amount of people that DM me asking what specific foods, what kind of meals they can eat to really do a lean bulk correctly. So basically we're gonna go in here and just get some, some lean meats, some, uh, some healthier fats, and I'll be back in the next clip to show you guys what we got for him for the week. All right, all right, all right, all right. 
All right, so I got this boy set up for the week for real. So basically I broke it down into carb, protein, and fat sources, and then you got some seasons and stuff over here. But for the carbs, basically got some white jasmine rice, broccoli, a couple of things of corn, um, bananas, strawberries for the protein smoothie, mix that with the whey protein. Um, this could really go either way as a fat or carb source. I just put it over here though. Who don't like mashed potatoes? You got your uh, tortillas for the uh, quesadillas and shit. And then you got your, you know, just regular maple and brown sugar, oatmeal. Over here, you got some, damn, we forgot the oats. Or the, no, the, the granola, I mean, that's crazy, but. Uh, we went through that for at least yeah, 10 a minutes. A minute, I couldn't find it. Got your two Greek yogurts, uh, vanilla, strawberry. 93.7 lean ground beef. Now like, the less the fat percentage of the ground beef, the nastier it gets, so you gotta really douse that motherfucker with uh with a lot of seasonings and stuff. But I mean, it's still it's still decent. You got the chicken thighs. These are definitely a go-to. I like these a lot better than the breast. It seems like it's more of a you get more flavor in it. Um, definitely, the chicken breasts are kind of dry, in my opinion. You got the uh, eggs. You know that's kind of essential. Kodiak power or Kodiak. Uh, Kodiak, what do you call these motherfuckers? Kodiak pancakes, you can make waffles or pancakes. These is heat for real. Oh, uh, and then the applesauce will go over here. And then, so basically what I'm gonna have this dude doing is making a lot of quesadillas and bowls. So like what you would get from Qdoba or uh, Chipotle, but a healthier version. So you got the Mexican cheese, that's a go-to. And then you got the extra version olive oil. This adds a lot of, I feel like taste and texture and makes like, a lot of stuff that could be dry, not as dry. And then I set them up with a little bit of seasonings. Got um, garlic salt, cinnamon for the um, for the oatmeal, and then the Lowry seasoned salt. Like, like, come on, that's that's a must in the kitchen. You gotta have the Lowry's in the kitchen. And then this, you know what I'm saying? My boy Joe put me onto this, and now I'm putting people on because like this is heat. It only has 10 calories per serving, two grams of carbs. Like. That's negligible at the end of the day. But yeah, I got this boy set up for the week. Hopefully he uh, eats it all and starts to see a little bit of progress from that. So I think I'm gonna end this clip here. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like the video. And if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you. And we out, yeah. boy. All right, so what's going on? Good morning, how you doing? How you living? What's up? All of that good stuff. <clears throat> so. What is it? Saturday, April 3rd, hit a very new low weigh-in of 183.6 today. So that's just a little over six pounds lost, and I am feeling lean, feeling mean, for real. I mean, I'm a little flat this morning, obviously. Uh, I just woke up. I don't wake up with a pump. That'd be something else. But I think I'm going to wrap up this video with this little clip today. So I'm just going to give you all a little physique slash posing update. Talked to my coach, Alex, and he gave me some pointers. Really just one main thing to work on um, posing-wise before our first session. And I think it really made a big difference in my physique, especially with um, highlighting my back, which is what I need to do. So real quick, I'm going to show you all the little adjustment that he had me make. So instead of me having both my lats here, I now got them there. This one, I'm able to like kind of round it out, show my shoulder, show my lat, and do the same with this one with having the arm still up. I felt and looked very uncomfortable in the first pose, or the pose where I don't have my hand on my hip. And also, having my hand down here really accentuates my waist. I'm pretty sure that was the right word, I'm not sure. But, uh, so, it helps accentuate my waist, make it look a little bit smaller than what it is, which is always a plus in men's physique, really in any um, bodybuilding category, but men's physique, definitely. So, 183.6 this morning, macros are staying the same. I have my second check-in of this prep with my coaches tomorrow tomorrow morning um, I know they're gonna drop my carbs a little bit um, but yeah still feeling pretty full I went to bed a little hungry last night it was 
one of the first nights I or one of the first days I was really dealing with hunger. But besides that, I'm not having any cravings. I'm looking forward to my the meals I'm actually eating. Still eating a lot of carbs. Still eating a lot of rice, sweet potatoes, chicken, ground beef, uh, good stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna wrap up this video here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I can already tell you right now this is my best and favorite video I've released right now. So if you enjoyed it as much as I did, please, please, please leave a like, hit the subscribe button if you like what you're seeing, and if you really like what you're seeing, turn on the post notifications so you don't ever miss a video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.